doing actually the layout uh, we have to uh, first uh, run the footprint assignment tool uh, and then generate the netlist uh, which will be imported in uh, uh, the layout uh, tool of the KiCad uh, suite of tools and uh, now uh, assigning footprints is perhaps the most important crucial step that that uh, we need to be uh, doing very 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 uh, carefully and this step we uh, essentially assign to all the components all the symbols in our schematic diagram a footprint a footprint is uh, the exact geometry uh, of, of the uh, component placed onto the actual PCB uh, its dimensions are super super uh, critical uh, and they have to uh, match exactly uh, the, the physical dimensions of the components that we will be purchasing uh, to either solder uh, as a surface mounted device or through whole uh, uh, components um, so I can't stress enough how important this step is perhaps one of the most crucial steps in uh, the process of uh, creating uh, PCB layouts uh, and uh, it is a step uh, where I usually uh, also select the components that I'm gonna uh, buy. For example, uh, this uh, FCDA chip uh, over here uh, has assigned this uh, footprint uh, that you see uh, in silicon standard uh, over here. Uh, you can double click on that. should be able to see it it looks like this uh, you can look at dimensions and all that uh, to double check that uh, it matches the exact footprint of the component that we're going to buy for example from Mouser so while uh, doing this step I usually open up uh, Mouser uh, my favorite uh, place to buy components uh, simply because they have a pretty good search tool uh, better than the GK uh, being said between us in my opinion and uh, here you'll have to check the uh, data sheet and, and see well uh, you, you saw that that uh, the footprint uh, will, will match the one that uh, that this uh, chip has in terms of dimensions and uh, uh, f uh, physical uh, geometries here like that so very important for this uh, uh, f uh, footprint to match exactly uh, the size of the actual physical component that we're gonna uh, buy so uh, let's look uh, at another one here I don't need to see that anymore uh, but for the capacitor um, let's go and select from capacitors five millimeter uh, through hole uh, because uh, and this uh, design will be using through hole components uh, as much as we can the only surface mounted device would be the FTDA chip uh, so I am selecting from capacitors this footprint that uh, will have uh, five millimeters between the, 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 the two uh, holes at the same time I need to uh, make sure that the capacitors that I'm gonna uh, buy uh, match those physical dimensions so if I look at the data sheet uh, this should be okay uh, I have between the two terminal slates of the capacitor about five uh, millimeters so that that would be okay um, this is, is extremely important to be uh, uh, so uh, especially when it comes to surf surface mounted um, uh, devices not so important when it comes uh, to through hole components because uh, the, the, the terminals can be you know wiggled with a little bit to, to fit through uh, the holes on, on, on the PCB so um, uh, let's go uh, 
ahead and, and, and uh, fix all of this footprint uh, footprint uh, assignments accordingly uh, at the same time selecting the components from uh, from uh, mouser or your favorite uh, vendors all right after um, um, assigning footprints uh, to all my symbols uh, I have this assignment as shown over here um, so um, just say okay and then uh, the last thing that we need to do is to uh, generate uh, netlist to generate the netlist uh, we used to have an icon here but apparently it's been eliminated so uh, it is now in a file export uh, netlist uh, we'll uh, keep the same name as the project and uh, that's pretty much it now the netlist has been uh, generated and it will be available to be imported into the layout tool uh, so that's it for this video uh, let's go uh, next uh, and uh, create the layout in the next video